Hey guys, it's the Movie Buff Pains, and today we're gonna show you our entire 4K collection. We'll just go ahead and dive right in. First up, we've got 310 to Yuma, a really good modern Western. Next up, we have Rob Zombie's Three from Hell. Uh, this is probably my least favorite in the trilogy, but it's entertaining nonetheless. 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Next up are two of my favorite modern comedies, and that's 21 and 22 Jump Street. Love both of these movies, but the first one especially because Dave Franco, of course. He bought us Taco Bell. 47 Ronin. 300. This is one that I've been meaning to see for a really long time and for some reason haven't seen it yet, so now I'll be able to check it out on 4K. 1917, and just personally, I think this has got to have some of the best picture and audio quality of any 4K I've ever seen, so if you haven't by chance seen this one, this is the way to watch it. Definitely. Another great film to own on 4K, and that's 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is a really nice box set that it came in as well. Then we have 2012. Abominable. Actually a pretty cute animated film. The Accountant. Pretty underrated movie in my opinion. I like that one. Definitely. Across the Universe. A musical I actually enjoy. Ad Astra. It's another one that looks really beautiful on 4K. Air Force One. Another one I need to check out soon. One of my favorite movies, and so I'm very happy they put this out on 4K, and that is Alien, the 40th anniversary edition. Yeah, great movie. And then we have Alien Covenant, which I actually enjoyed this one as well. Obviously not anywhere near as good as the original, but it's very entertaining. Then we have Alita Battle Angel. Really enjoy this one. I'm still hoping that they'll get around to making a sequel, but definitely, definitely a fun one to watch. Mm -hmm. Allied, pretty decent flick from Robert Zemeckis. American Assassin is a pretty entertaining one. American Gangster. American Maid. That one's a lot of fun. American Psycho. Absolutely love this movie. Very good. Angel Has Fallen. We haven't checked this one out yet, but the other two were just kind of so so so. But we'll have to look at it. I've eventually. actually heard some decent things about this one, so we'll, we'll check it out at some point. And then uh, this one is actually from the UK, and that is Angel Heart. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this one coming out in the US, so I had to import this one. But. Pretty cool one to have. Then we got a couple of animated movies here, and that is Angry Birds and Angry Birds 2. Pretty fun movies. Then we have a Luke Besson film here, and that's Anna. This one was all right. And one of my favorite sci-fi films of late, and that is Annihilation. Such a good film with some great performances and stunning visuals. Then our first dip into some of the Marvel movies, and we have Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Annabellum. Pretty decent flick. I don't think it deserved all the hate that it got. Yeah. It was alright. Next we have Apocalypse Now, Final Cut. Great movie, but terrible packaging. Yeah, this really needed like a slip box around it or something. It's just loose. Very so. cheap feeling. Yeah. Apollo 13. Aquaman. Arizona. Heard this is a pretty fun movie, so I need to get around to watching this one. And another one of my favorite sci-fi films and one of my favorite films of all time just in general and that is Denis Villeneuve's Arrival. Absolutely love this film, it's so beautiful, so thought-provoking, just an amazing film. Really a great film. Next we have Atomic Blonde, really fun film all around and a great soundtrack. Yeah, the soundtrack is awesome. Then we have a few more Marvel films here and that would be all of the Avengers films. So Avengers, Age of Ultron, Infinity War, and Endgame. I am really happy they've gone back and released all of these on 4K, however I do not like these like really basic covers that they did for some of the older ones. The, the newer covers are definitely better. Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, fun movies overall. Not my favorite movies ever, but lots and lots of fun. Endgame's probably my favorite. Yeah, probably me too. We have a really fun movie from Edgar Wright, and I'm pretty sure everyone agrees with me on this, and that is Baby Driver. Really fun movie all around. Yeah, I don't think I've met one person that didn't like this movie, honestly. Just so much fun, great soundtrack, uh, really fun watch. Then we have Backdraft, really good drama. Next up we have a really fun series of films, and I actually just saw the first two films for the first time before we saw the third one and that is the Bad Boys trilogy. So you got Bad Boys 1 and 2 and Bad Boys for Life. But these are so much fun. 
all really, really fun films. Yeah, I was really happy to finally check these out and uh, then see this one in theaters. Um, but if you've never seen them, definitely recommend them. Then we have Bad Santa 2. We do have the first one on Blu-ray, so I don't know, maybe that one will get to 4K eventually since the sequel came out. Yeah, it's really kind of a random one on, on 4K, but I always like to support the format, so we picked it up. Another really fun kind of crime thriller movie, and that is Bad Times at the El Royale. I feel like a lot of people like this when it initially came out, but I, I hardly hear people talk about it anymore. And, more people definitely should. It's a, it's a really fun one. Kind of underrated in a way, honestly, but it yeah, is sure. really a great watch. Just so much fun through the whole thing. And a really stacked cast as well. We're going to jump into several titles here, all featuring the same character, actually. And the first one up is the 1989 Batman. Really fun movie. Really fun all around. Batman Returns. Which I think I like that one even more because of the awesome Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, yes. Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. And then we have an animated film here, and that is Batman Gotham by Gaslight. And real quick, a plug for Andrew's animation series. He went through and talked about all of the DC animated movies, so definitely go check out those videos. Another animated one, and that is Batman and Harley Quinn. Batman Hush. And then, of course, we have the Nolan trilogy, which is Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, easily the best Batman film to ever come out. Yeah, love that movie. And The Dark Knight Rises. Our newest entry in the DC animated universe, and that is Batman Soul of the Dragon. Then we have Batman vs. Superman, the Ultimate Edition, which actually Zack Snyder has said that he's remastering this movie, so hopefully we'll be getting that on 4K real soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one we both really enjoy. And then we have Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I haven't had a chance to watch that one yet, but it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. After all those Batman titles, we jump back into the rest of the collection. <laughs> And the next one up is Battleship. Surprisingly a really fun movie. Next up we have Baywatch. This movie got a lot of hate, but I actually had a lot of fun with this one. Yeah, it was a real fun one. Then we have A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. This was a really good film. Tom Hanks was amazing as Mr. Rogers. Mm -hmm. Beetlejuice, which I finally saw for the first time this last fall, and I absolutely loved it. Next we have Beverly Hills Cop. I really enjoyed this one when we watched this. We got a classic film right here, and that is The Big Lebowski. Definitely one of my favorite Coen Brother films. Then we have Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. Birds of Prey, probably one of my favorite recent DC movies. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really liked Margot Robbie's performance in that one too. It's really all about Mary Elizabeth Winstead for me. <laughs> the Birth of a Nation. Black Hawk Down, another one that I really need to check out. Black Panther, really, really enjoyed this one. Black Klansman, great movie from Spike Lee. Really enjoyable. Blade. Yeah, Blade Runner, which admittedly, I think I need to watch this one again because I don't think I fully appreciated it the first time I watched it, um, but I'm sure it looks amazing on 4K. Yeah, I need to give that one a rewatch too. And then we have Blade Runner 2049, which I absolutely loved, which is another one of the reasons that I think I need to go back and watch the original again. Um, because I really love this film and I love the direction that Denis Villeneuve took this series. And it looks gorgeous on 4K. Yeah, this is one of the ones we watched when we got our new OLED and it just looked incredible. Bloodshot. The Blues Brothers. Bohemian Rhapsody. The Boss Baby. Pretty cute film. Yeah. Boys in the Hood. Absolutely love this film. Definitely a classic. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Really happy we have this one with a slip cover. It's pretty hard to come by these days. And it's a great slip. Braveheart. I swear every time I see my mom, she asks me if I have watched this movie or not. And every time I tell her no, I haven't watched it yet. But, but one day I will sit down and watch this 177 minute film. One day. Brawl in Cell Block 99. Really cool film with uh, Vince Vaughn. Nice different role for him. I was definitely surprised at how brutal this one was. Yeah. Breakthrough. The Bridge on the River Kwai. Brightburn. I actually really like this one. It's kind of a cool horror take on um, the Superman story. Yeah, really underrated. I found I enjoyed that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Bumblebee, probably my 
favorite of the Transformers films, honestly. Best made one, anyways. By far the best Transformers film, for sure. The Call of the Wild. Really wish we had a slipcover for this one, but maybe eventually one day we will find it. I saw that the, the uh, Disney Movie Club copies came with the slip, so maybe one day we'll get it. Then we've got some more Marvel movies. We have Captain America, The First Avenger. Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Definitely my favorite of the three. Definitely. And Captain America, Civil War. Next up, we have Captain Marvel. Which we actually just got done rewatching this one earlier this morning. Uh, despite some of the negative reviews, I actually think this is one of the better Marvel movies. Then we have Captain Underpants. Martin Scorsese's Casino, really great film. Casino Royale. Our first TV show in the collection, and that is the first season of Castle Rock. Central Intelligence. Charlie's Angels. And the remake of Charlie's Angels. Definitely prefer the original. But yeah. This one has some redeeming qualities. Another TV series, and that is Chernobyl. Really great miniseries. Definitely recommend checking it out on HBO. Definitely. We have a horror classic here, and that is John Carpenter's Christine. Absolutely love this movie. Cliffhanger. Another classic here from Steven Spielberg this time, and that is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Then we have Cloverfield. And 10 Cloverfield Lane, which of course I love because Mary Elizabeth Winstead again, but this is a really good film. Cold Pursuit, which I thought this was actually a really, really good one with Liam Neeson. Not often that his movies really catch my attention as much. Next we have Collateral, a really great thriller from Michael Mann. Color Out of Space, a really good Lovecraft story. The Eddie Murphy classic, Coming to America. The Commuter. Concussion. Which, fun fact about this one, this is actually the first 4K that we ever picked up. Then we have Crank. This one is a wild ride, but definitely worth a watch. Lots of fun. Crazy Rich Asians, definitely one of my favorite uh, romance films lately. Then we have Creed and Creed 2, both excellent follow-ups to the Rocky series. Yeah, great entries in the series. The Croods. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, really great film. Daddy's Home 2. This is definitely a fun one to throw on around the holidays. Then we have another movie series here, and we have The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno. The Dark Crystal. Really good one. Love Jim Henson's darker work. The Dark Tower. The Darkest Minds. Daybreakers, a really good vampire film. Days of Thunder pretty fun movie with Tom Cruise. Then we have Deadpool and Deadpool 2. The Death and Return of Superman. Probably one of my favorite animated films that DC has put out. Deepwater Horizon, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, and Despicable Me 3. Die Hard, great action movie. Really fun. District 9, probably my favorite of Neil Blomkamp's films. One of my favorite sci-fi films for sure. Next up we have the Divergent series, starting with Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, which unfortunately they didn't end up finishing the series out, but um, honestly with each film they were getting less and less good, so not much to say there besides yeah. that, but <laughs> yeah. they started out with a little bit of promise, but didn't, didn't go too well. I yeah. really enjoyed the books, but movies just let me down. They're entertaining enough, but they're definitely like no Hunger Games. No. Doctor Sleep really good follow-up to The Shining. Mm -hmm. Doctor Strange. The Doors. If anyone has a slipcover they want to send me for that one, let me know. Downsizing. Um, I think this one definitely got a lot more hate than it deserved. It's not a great movie by any means, but I did enjoy it. Dracula Untold. Dread. Uh, this one really surprised me. This is a really fun movie. Dunkirk. Really a good one from Christopher Nolan. Dynasties. Earth, One Amazing Day. Ender's Game. I loved these books when I was in like middle school, so it was fun to see a movie Definitely. based on those. Then we have another classic from John Carpenter, and that is Escape from New York. This is actually from the UK, but being John Carpenter, we had to get it, and it's real nice to have this in the collection. Inevitably, it'll come out in 4K in the US too. <laughs> True. We have a classic 80s movie here, and that is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. A couple of films with Denzel Washington, and that is The Equalizer and The Equalizer 2. Both really, really fun movies. Both really fun. Everest, 
enjoyed this film. If you want to ever feel like you're really, really cold, definitely throw this one on. <laughs> then we have a couple of Sam Raimi films, and that is Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Love those movies. Very good. Hopefully they'll get Army of Darkness out on the 4K as well. Ex Machina, fantastic sci-fi film with some really great performances, especially from Alicia Vikander and Oscar Isaac. The latest films from the Wizarding World, and that is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and The Crimes of Grindelwald. We have yet another series here, starting with The Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious. Unfortunately, we don't have Tokyo Drift yet. We're still on the hunt for that one with the slipcover, but we have Fast and Furious the fourth one. Fast Five, which is probably my favorite of them all. Fast and Furious 6. Furious 7, another one of my favorites. That one's probably my favorite. And The Fate of the Furious. I have a lot of fun with all of these movies, honestly. Then we have Ferdinand. A Few Good Men. Field of Dreams. The Fifth Element, great one from Luke Besson. Probably my favorite. Then we've got the Rambo movies. We have First Blood. Rambo, First Blood Part 2, and Rambo 3. And of course we have the newer entries as well, Rambo and Rambo Last Blood. From Damien Chazelle we have First Man. This is a really beautifully shot film. I definitely need to give this one another watch on 4K. Then we have The First Purge, really enjoyable entry in that series. Ford vs Ferrari, this one was a lot of fun to see in Dolby Cinema and looks really good on 4K too. Full Metal Jacket. Fantastic movie. Love that one. Really good. Another really good war film here and kind of an underrated one in my opinion. That is Fury. Galveston. The latest from Guy Ritchie and that's The Gentleman. Don't feel like I heard a lot of people talking about that one but it is a really enjoyable film. All, fun all around. Yeah for sure. Gemini Man. thought that one was pretty good. And the um, CGI in it was pretty cool. Yeah, look great on 4K. Get Out, absolutely love this film. Definitely one of the best horror films of all time. Jordan Peele is great at directing horror. Then we have Ghost in the Shell. This is the original animated one. Really enjoy this film a lot. And then we also have the American remake, Ghost in the Shell. Another series here, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, and the 2016 remake, Ghostbusters. An unpopular opinion, but this is my favorite of them all. I love this movie, and it got way too much undeserved hate, and I wish they would have let Paul Feig make his sequel. Really do enjoy that one. First one's probably still my favorite, but this is definitely a great film still. The Girl on the Train. Which I actually heard they're remaking this one already. I, I don't know why. That just came out. But. Gladiator. Glass. Gods of Egypt. The 1998 Godzilla. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Really fun movie. Definitely looking forward to Kong vs. Godzilla. And can't wait for the first Godzilla to come out on 4K finally. Oh, that's true. I'm looking forward to that as well. The Goonies, really fun film. Goosebumps 2. Uh, we have the first one on Blu-ray. This one's definitely not as fun as the first one. Grease, really, really fun musical. And one of the ones I really like, actually. The Great Wall. The Greatest Showman. Can't stand this one. I think it's all right. Yeah, not a fan. Green Book, pretty good film, but definitely not deserving of Best Picture, in my opinion. Gremlins. Illuminations, The Grinch. That's a real cute one. Groundhog Day. Which is what my life feels like sometimes. Groundhog Day. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I have missed you so much. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy 2, both really fun films. Hacksaw Ridge. Really good war film. Yeah, great movie. Then we have my favorite horror film of all time, and that of course is John Carpenter's Halloween. And then we have David Gordon Green's sequel to the original, and that is Halloween. I actually had a really good time with this one. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely worthy sequel of the original. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the other sequels we're gonna get sometime soon. We got another movie series here, so I'll just go ahead and power through these real quick. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. My personal favorite. Definitely up there for me too. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. 
The Hate You Give, really great film. Really good. Hellfest, really good modern slasher. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that one. Hell or High Water, really great film from David McKenzie. I really enjoyed this one. If you guys have never seen it, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Then we've got the animated Hellboy movie collection. Then we have Hellboy and Hellboy 2. Uh, really, really enjoyed the first one. And the Hellboy remake. We have one of my all-time favorite films right here, and that is Hereditary. Um, this features just a powerhouse performance from Tony Collette and such an eerie, scary film. Probably one of the few films to really get under my skin. It's a great movie. Just creepy throughout. Hickok? Hidden Figures. Ooh. Really enjoyed this one. Really good film. Higher Power? The Hitman's Bodyguard. Hobbs and Shaw? Hocus Pocus. Of course, a classic you have to watch every Halloween. Home Alone, a classic you must watch every Christmas. Hook, a personal favorite of mine. Hostiles, pretty good modern western. I really love the cast in this one. Hot Fuzz. Hotel Artemis. Hotel Transylvania 3. The House with a Clock in Its Walls. Really enjoyed that one. That was fun. One of my favorite movie series of all time, How to Train Your Dragon, How to Train Your Dragon 2, and How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. And then we have Ang Lee's version of Hulk. Another movie series, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay Part 1 and 2. Hunter Killer. The Hurricane Heist. Hustlers. This one came out of nowhere and really surprised me. I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, that was a really good film. In the Heart of the Sea. Inception. Great film from Christopher Nolan. Marvel's The Incredible Hulk. Independence Day Resurgence. Interstellar. Really great film. Love that one. The Invisible Man. Really great thriller from last year. Love this film. Elizabeth Moss is amazing as always. Amazing reimagining of the original story. Mm -hmm. Ip Man 4. Iron Man. Iron Man 2. And Iron Man 3. It. Really great remake of the Stephen King story. Mm-hmm. I love that film. Great mix of coming of age with horror. And then we have It Chapter 2, which I know not as many people liked, but I still really enjoyed this one. Yeah. It's a Wonderful Life. Great classic. Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Then we have the Jack Ryan five film collection. This one has The Hunt for Red October, Patriot Games, The Sum of All Fears, Clear and Present Danger, and Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Jason Bourne. One of my favorite movies ever, and it came in a really cool lenticular box, and that is Jaws. Jigsaw. Actually had a lot of fun with this entry in the series. Yeah, I thought it was a little better than some of the later entries. Yeah, for sure. Then we've got John Wick, John Wick Chapter 2, and John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Fantastic action series. All so good. And we have one of my favorite films of 2019 by one of my favorite directors, Taika Waititi, and that is Jojo Rabbit. Really such a fun film. And the fact that a movie can be made about Nazis that is also really funny is was surprising, but it was just so good. Yeah, really heartwarming as well. So definitely recommend checking it out. Joker, really good film and Joaquin Phoenix performance is just out of this world. Yeah, a little overrated in my opinion, but still a pretty good film nonetheless. And we have an IMAX film here, and that is Journey to the South Pacific. I actually think we picked this one up at like a thrift store. It was really cheap, like less than $3. Yeah, really good find. Then we've got Jumanji. One of my childhood favorites. Me too. Along with the follow-up films, Welcome to the Jungle and The Next Level. Both of which are a lot of fun. Really, really fun to watch. Really good time. Jupiter Ascending. I actually watched that one not too long ago and wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a train wreck, but it was actually somewhat entertaining. Yeah, I've stayed away from this one because I've heard such terrible things about it, but maybe I'll have to give it a watch sometime. Then we have the Jurassic Park collection. This has the first four films in it. Really love this set and love these films an awful lot. And also the fifth film in the series, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And then we have Justice League. Definitely looking forward to the Zack Snyder cut coming out pretty soon. Definitely. Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Justice League versus the Fatal Five. The Karate Kid. Keeping up with the Joneses. I had a fun time with this one. Yeah, it's a real under the radar comedy. Kick-Ass. 
The Kid Who Would Be King. Ken? Pretty underrated one. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, me too. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Peter Jackson's King Kong. Love that version. Really good version. And then we have a couple of fun movies here. First one is Kingsman, The Secret Service. This is a cool box set. And then we have its sequel, The Golden Circle. Both really fun films. Yeah. Uh, one that I really enjoyed from Ryan Johnson, and that is Knives Out. Really fantastic take on the whodunit tale. And uh, really going to miss Christopher Plummer. He's great in this one. Yeah. Kong Skull Island. Really fun entry in the Monsterverse movies. Yeah, I like that one. This next one is one of my favorite films of all time, and it also happens to be a musical. And that is La La Land. Really fun film. Love the music in that. Yeah, it's a great love letter to cinema. Jim Henson's Labyrinth. Really, really enjoy this one a lot. That one's a lot of fun. Although it kind of scared me when I was a little kid. True. <laughs> then we have the Lara Croft films, Tomb Raider, and Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life. The Legend of Tarzan. The Lego Batman movie. This one's a lot of fun. Really fun entry. The Lego Movie 2. We have the first one on Blu-ray. I really enjoy all of those movies. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, they are. And this one I haven't seen yet, although I really need to because I know uh, Dave Franco does the lead voice. And that is the Lego Ninjago movie. And this one is probably my favorite Luke Besson film. And that is Leon the Professional. Absolutely love this movie. And Natalie Portman is so, so good in this role. A great film. Just great performances all around. Life. This one was pretty entertaining. The Lincoln Lawyer. Lockup. Logan. Definitely one of the best superhero films. Definitely the best X-Men film, I think, too. Yeah. Logan Lucky. I think this is a pretty underrated heist film. Yeah, that one's so much fun. Lone Survivor. Great performance from Mark Wahlberg in this one. Lord of War. Really good performance by Nick Cage. Love and Monsters. A great surprise from 2020. It was a really fun apocalyptic movie. Really fun. And this is one of my favorite coming of age films of all time. And you guys know I love coming of age films. That is Love, Simon. Um, I've been meaning lately to go and rewatch the Hulu series Love, Victor because I have a video that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do talking about these two things as well as some of my favorite book adaptations. So keep an eye out for that one. This is really such a good movie. Yeah. Another Luke Besson film and that is Lucy. I actually found this one pretty entertaining. Yeah, I think that one gets a lot of undeserved hate. Mad Max Fury Road. This is a fantastic movie. Uh, this is one that I didn't like very much the first time I saw it, but when I watched it again, it just absolutely blew me away. Really, really just a fun ride. The Magnificent Seven. This is a pretty good remake of the original. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun film. Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia Here We Go Again. Actually, two more musicals that I enjoy. Man of Steel. Thought this was a really good reintroduction of Superman myself. Yeah, one of the better DC films. Man on a Ledge, another underrated one in my opinion. Enjoy this one. Marrowbone. The Martian. Really great sci-fi film, although not a comedy. Mary, Queen of Scots. The Mask of Zorro. That's a really fun film. Another movie series, we have The Matrix, The Matrix Reloaded, and Matrix Revolutions. Mayhem. This is a really fun, bloody movie with uh, Steven Yeun and Samara Weaving. The Maze Runner. Maze Runner The Scorch Trials, and Maze Runner The Death Cure. Mechanic Resurrection. The Meg. Really fun movie. Really fun. Then we have a steelbook here, and that is the Men in Black trilogy. Don't buy too many 4K steelbooks, but sometimes they're just a lot better deal, so we pick those up. And in this case, uh, this one definitely was. And then we also have Men in Black International, which I thought was pretty entertaining. Nothing great, but it's a fun time. Yeah. Midway. Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Really funny comedy. I like the cast in this one a lot. Really great cast. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. We have Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation. Definitely need to get the others in the series on 4K soon. And we also have Mission Impossible Fallout. These films are always a really fun time. Moon. Really good sci-fi piece. Yeah, very underrated. Another one of my uh, favorite coming-of-age films, and that is Moonlight. Some beautiful cinematography and just fantastic performances. Morgan. Mortal Engines. That one wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Kind of makes me sad that they're not going to continue with that series. 
Yeah, I, re I remember enjoying it. Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. Mother, I really enjoy this film from Darren Aronofsky. I know his films can be pretty divisive, but I usually love them. The Mountain Between Us. The Mule. The Mummy Ultimate Trilogy. Another example of poor packaging. And then we have The Mummy Remake with Tom Cruise. This one is all right, but kind of a waste of potential in my opinion. Yeah. Murder on the Orient Express. The Natural. The New Mutants. Didn't think this one was as bad as everyone else said. Um, it definitely needed to have some more fleshed out story ideas and characters, but there's a good movie in there somewhere, I think. Yeah, it kind of just got bogged down with the Fox acquisition, but you know, it still was a decent movie. Mm -hmm. Then we have Neja. Night School. Pretty funny comedy. Yeah, it was cute. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I love these next two movies. You know, not everybody did, but I really do enjoy them. That is Now You See Me. And of course it has Dave Franco. And Now You See Me Too. But overall just really fun thrillers that involve magic. Just a really fun time. They really waste the potential in making the sequel called Now You Don't. <laughs> That's true. The Nun. Pretty decent entry in the Conjuring universe. Mm -hmm. Oblivion. I really enjoy that one a lot. It's really beautifully shot. Yeah, don't hear people talk about this one too often. Ocean's 8. This one's a really fun entry in that series. Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. And then we have Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I really enjoyed this movie. I'm not the biggest Quentin Tarantino fan. Like, I like all of his films. I don't always love them. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed this one. This one was definitely up there for one of his best. Mm -hmm. Overlord. This one's a really fun movie. Yeah, I enjoy that one a lot. A really bloody, gruesome, fun time. Pacific Rim Uprising, definitely not as fun as the first one, but it was still okay. Another IMAX film here, and that is Pandas. Mostly got that one because it is narrated by Kristen Bell, who I love. But Pandas. Also Pandas. Pan's Labyrinth, really beautifully done film by Guillermo del Toro. Definitely I'll have to compare that one because we do own this one on Criterion as well. Yeah. Another one that we also own on Criterion, and that is Parasite fantastic movie one of my favorites of all time for sure passengers pretty decent science fiction film i wish they still included the 3ds with the 4k so it's cool that they did that for a couple of releases yeah the patriot patriot's day i really do enjoy all three of these uh mark Wahlberg, peter Berg true story films they're all really good yeah the peanuts holiday collection Really glad to have this one. Then we have the uh, pseudo sequel to Train to Busan, and that is Peninsula. Really fun one. Yeah. And we have a horror classic here, and that is Pet Cemetery. Absolutely love this film, and I'm really excited they put it out on 4K. And then we also have the remake of Pet Cemetery. I actually really enjoy this one as well. Peter Rabbit. This one was actually a lot cuter than I expected it would be. No, it was a fun one. Really enjoyed that. Phantom Thread. This one has some really great performances, especially from Daniel Day-Lewis. Philadelphia. Another one with really great performances. Pineapple Express, really fun stoner comedy. This next one is one of my favorite comedies of all time. That's Pitch Perfect. That was one of the first movies you showed me, like on our second date, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we also have Pitch Perfect 2. Then we also have Pitch Perfect 2 and Pitch Perfect 3. Kind of unnecessary sequels, but they're fun nonetheless. Yeah. Then we have the remake of Point Break. Then we have Pokemon Detective Pikachu. This next one is one of my favorite films from 2020, a really well done horror film by Brandon Cronenberg. That is Possessor. Definitely recommend checking this one out if you guys haven't seen it yet. And make sure you pick up the uncut edition. The Post. Really good drama. Power Rangers. The Predator 3 movie collection. This has Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. We also have the latest entry in that series, The Predator. Another Christopher Nolan film here, and that's The Prestige. Prometheus. The Punisher. And Punisher Warzone. Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. And then we have a pretty good horror series here, and that's The Purge. The Purge Anarchy, this one's probably my favorite. And The Purge Election Year. And we showed you the first Purge earlier on. All really fun films. Mm -hmm. Quantum of Solace. Queen and Slim. Rather enjoyed this one. Really good. The Quick and the Dead. A Quiet Place. Really effective thriller. Enjoyed this one a lot. 
And I'm looking forward to the sequel whenever that comes out. Hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. Rampage? Ready Player One. I believe this is the uh, Target lenticular slipcover. Really fun movie. Red and Red 2. Red Heat. Red Sparrow. Requiem for a Dream. Really depressing, but really well done film. Resident Evil, the final chapter. River Runs Red. Robin Hood with Russell Crowe. And the Taron Egerton Robin Hood, which is better than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, it was entertaining. And speaking of Taron Egerton, Rocket Man. He does such a fantastic job of playing Elton John. I really enjoyed this one. Really great film. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Rough Night. Which is basically the female spin on Very Bad Things, but I still really enjoyed it. I like the cast a lot in this one. Yeah, it was a fun one. Sausage Party, really raunchy adult animated film. Saving Private Ryan. Scarface. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Pretty enjoyable one. I liked it. Schindler's List. Depressing, but very good. Yeah, a movie everyone should see at least once. Scoob. I had a pretty fun time with it. It was alright. Yeah. The Scorpion King. The Secret Life of Pets and The Secret Life of Pets 2. I actually have a lot of fun with both of these. The voice cast to these movies is amazing. Very well done. I like both of those a lot. Mm -hmm. Serenity. And a BBC special here. Seven Worlds, One Planet. Shadow. Shaft. The Shallows. The Shape of Water. Beautiful film from Guillermo del Toro with a fantastic performance from Sally Hawkins. Really love that one. Shaun of the Dead. Really fun, quotable film. Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. One of the all-time greats, The Shining. And it looks fantastic on 4K if you're debating on picking this one up. Shutter Island. Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Um, don't have the first one on 4K. I didn't, it didn't get the greatest reviews, but maybe I'll pick it up at some point. But. This is a pretty good sequel. Not nearly as good as the first one, but pretty good. And we have A Simple Favor. I think this is a really underrated dark comedy thriller with um, Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively. Just a really fun time. And both give really good performances. Yeah, definitely. Sing. Really cute film. Skyfall. Skyscraper. Smurfs, The Lost Village. Snatched. I had a fun time with this one. I know a lot of people hate Amy Schumer, but I think she's hilarious. And this was a fun time. Yeah, it was a good film. Snitch. We have Snow White and the Huntsman and The Huntsman Winter's War. Both pretty good films. Yeah, both entertaining. Solo, a Star Wars story. Song to Song, Terrence Malick film. Sonic the Hedgehog. This one was a really fun film. Source Code. I think this is kind of an underrated sci-fi film. I've always really enjoyed this one. Spartacus. Spectre. Then this is the Spider-Man Legacy Collection. This has Spider-Mans 1 through 3, along with the two amazing Spider-Man movies as well. We have Spider-Man Homecoming. Really enjoy this one. I think uh, Tom Holland was a great pick for Spider-Man. Definitely. Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is actually one of my favorite Spider-Man films. This, this one took me totally by surprise. Blew it out of the water, honestly. Spies in Disguise. Pretty cute one. Split, of M. Night Shyamalan's comeback film. The Spy Who Dumped Me. Stagecoach. Stand By Me. Really great film. A Star Is Born. Really enjoyed this adaptation. I thought Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga did a great job. Great chemistry too. Uh, next up we have the J.J. Abrams Star Trek series. So Star Trek. Star Trek Into Darkness. And Star Trek Beyond. Really enjoyed all three of these. All really fun films. Then we have another pretty famous sci-fi series after that. We have Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi. Unpopular opinion, but I love this movie. Me too. And The Rise of Skywalker. Starship Troopers. Step Brothers. Storks. Straight Outta Compton. Really good film. Mm -hmm. Stuber. This one's a lot of fun. I really love Camille Nanjiani. I think he's hilarious. Yeah, that's a funny one. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. Sully. Superman the Movie, which is one I still need to see, actually. Superman, Man of Tomorrow. Superman, Red Sun. 
This next one is actually a German release, but I had to pick this one up because I love this film so much. And that is the remake of Suspiria. Uh, this is one of those rare cases where I love both versions of the film almost equally. Uh, they're both very different, but both so, so good. They really are. Tenet. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, the best of all the movies, although this 4K does not look very good, unfortunately. Terminator Dark Fate. Thor, Thor the Dark World. And my favorite of the three, Thor Ragnarok. My favorite too. Actually one of my favorite Marvel films overall. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Really great film. Tomb Raider, actually really enjoyed this version. Top Gun. Total Recall classic sci-fi film and it looked fantastic on 4k it really did the town ben affleck did a great job with this one t2 train spotting the sequel to train spotting i actually really enjoyed this one i think they did a great job with it transformers revenge of the fallen dark of the moon age of extinction and the last night transporter 3 trolls and trolls world tour both really fun colorful animated films Uncle Drew. Underworld and Underworld Blood Wars. Unforgiven. Universal Soldier. Unsane. Really cool flick from Steven Soderbergh. And another great film from Jordan Peele, Us. Like this one almost as much as Get Out. V for Vendetta. Really good film. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Not Luke Besson's best, but it's still a very enjoyable film. Van Helsing. Van Wilder. Venom. VFW. This is a really gory, fun time. War Dogs. War for the Planet of the Apes. Great film. Really, really good. War of the Worlds was a fun watch on 4K, especially the soundtrack. My gosh, shook our house. Yeah, it sounded good. Warcraft. Warm Bodies. This is such an underrated film. I really love this movie. A great mixture of like a teen coming of age story with a zombie film. Kind really, of a Zomcom. Really cute, honestly. Yeah, I love this movie. And it was actually my introduction to Dave Franco. And this next film is easily one of my favorite films of all time. I usually say either Perks of Being a Wallflower or this one is my favorite, or Halloween. Um, but that is Whiplash. Such a fantastic film. It's a drama that really plays out like a thriller. Just so well done. Fantastic writing and great performances. Amazing film. Next we got another TV series and that is Westworld. Yeah, seasons one, two, and three, all of which came in different kinds of packaging, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? Yeah, one of the few TV shows that's actually continuing to be put out on 4K as well. That's true. Why Him? Really fun movie. Widows, one of the best modern horror films, and that's The Witch. Full of dread and suspense, I love it. Just tense the whole way through. The Wizard of Oz? We watched this one and wow, it looks amazing in 4K, honestly. They did a great job with the restoration. Yeah, it looks great. Wonder, a cute and heartfelt film. Wonder Woman. So oh, much better than 1984. Honestly, yes, yes. Wonder Woman Bloodlines. Also better than 1984. Figures. <laughs> the World's End. Then next we have the X-Men 3 film collection. This has X-Men, X2, and X-Men The Last Stand. Then we also have X-Men First Class, X-Men Apocalypse, and X-Men Dark Phoenix. Triple X Return of Xander Cage. Yesterday. This was a cute film. I like this one a lot. Zero Dark Thirty. Great film from Catherine Bigelow. Zombieland and Zombieland Double Tap. So that is everything that we have on our shelf, but real quick, I'll get behind the camera and show you uh, what we have displayed on top. So yeah, we keep a few releases up top as display pieces. Uh, first we have seasons one and two of Stranger Things. And then we have the German media book release of Crash. And the limited edition Midsommar release from A24. And coming over here up top we have three John Carpenter films. We have They Live, Prince of Darkness, and The Fog. And we also have the Second Sight release of Dawn of the Dead, the Alfred Hitchcock's Classics Collection, which has Rear Window, Vertigo, Psycho, and The Birds. And we have the Back to the Future trilogy and The Elephant Man on 4K from the UK. And then we have the Columbia Classics 4K collection, 
This has Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Lawrence of Arabia, Dr. Strangelove, Gandhi, A League of Their Own, and Jerry Maguire. And we have a couple of our favorite 4K steelbooks over here. We have Arrival and Halloween. And then another thing that we didn't show you because we uh, showed these off in our Disney collection are all of our Disney 4Ks. Uh, but I'll real quickly show you what we have here. We have the original animated Aladdin, the remake of Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, both versions, Big Hero 6, Brave, A Bug's Life, Cars 1, 2, and 3, the Cinderella live action remake, Coco, the Dumbo live action remake, Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, Frozen 1 and 2, The Good Dinosaur, The Incredibles 1 and 2, Inside Out, Jungle Book, The Lion King, The Lion King Remake, The Little Mermaid, Maleficent and Maleficent Mistress of Evil, Mary Poppins Returns, Moana, Monsters Inc., Monsters University, both versions of Mulan, The Nutcracker in the Four Realms, Onward, the Target exclusive Digibook, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, The Princess and the Frog, Ratatouille, Tangled, Toy Story 1 through 4, Up, Wally, Wreck It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet, A Wrinkle in Time, and Zootopia. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a long one, but it's one that you guys have been requesting for a while, so we were happy to do it for you guys finally. We had a lot of fun showing everything off, and yeah, sorry it's taken so long, but we were glad we were finally able to get this out to you. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell to get notifications when we upload new videos. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.